Hello, this is Daniel Blaze. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the best high definition, high end resource packs, not shader packs, but high end resource packs for Minecraft 1.16.5. That's right, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the best HD texture packs for Minecraft 1.60.5. I picked five. I tested all of them to work well with shaders as well, because most of these, you're going to want to actually run them with shaders because they're going to look insane. They will look even better than when you just use them without any shaders, because most shaders and most resource packs are actually compatible to some extent, which means that you can get texture shadows and texture depth and stuff like that, really fancy stuff. So I do recommend you install Optifine when you are checking out these uh, resource packs, even if you use them without shaders, some of their blocks may actually require things that only Optifine has for it to work properly. So yeah, just check out my tutorial on how to install Optifine in the top right corner right now, or use the link down below in the description to actually check out my tutorial on how to install Optifine. And if you actually do have Optifine, then you can go on to actually enjoy these packs the way they were meant to be enjoyed. So there we go. We're actually already in a Minecraft 1.60.5 world. This is already one of the packs I'm going to be showing you later on in this video and I'll be revealing the name of this pack because this is one of the many great packs that you'll uh, come to find out about in this video. So if you're actually into Minecraft videos like this one, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you want to see more of these videos pop up on your homepage regularly. And then without any further ado, here's my top five HD resource packs for Minecraft 1.16.5. So the first texture pack that we're going to be taking a look at is called Battered Old Stuff. I actually did include this in one of my other videos about just texture packs in general, not specifically HD texture packs because this one is not like a crazy 256 uh, pixel texture. I believe it's 64 pixels, but I'm not sure. I think it is. Um, and it's just really cool because it adds this unique kind of texture to Minecraft, especially if you consider these are what stone is going to look like in Minecraft now. So it's going to look pretty weird underground because if you're mining, it actually looks like stones or bricks, stuff like that, that were put there on purpose rather than just naturally generated stone because stone is going to look like this, like an old wall like like something you know that once looked good and doesn't look good anymore but overall i actually really like this i like the textures the fact that they look you know worn and, and old ish and stuff like that as if they've been sitting in a barn for ages and now you're actually just taking a look at them again they just look worn and that's actually exactly the point of this pack to make it's not like a steampunk pack if you've actually ever seen one of those they kind of remind me of those textures and those packs but it's not exactly that it's just pretty much i think the description of this pack is even something to the likes of stuff it should remind you of stuff you would find in your grandpa's old barn or stuff like that if that actually is something that's actually on that page and that's something i remembered correctly for once then that actually does really work out with this pack. So some of my favorite textures in this pack are probably stuff like chests, crafting tables and furnaces because they just look really cool. Very specific theme, kind of do fit the steampunk theme if you ask me, but I think this could work really well in some medieval or worlds that are trying to look like they are at least 100 years old. I guess that will do for this pack. So this next pack is called ROTR and it is not entirely complete, I guess. I mean, some textures haven't been retextured at all just yet, but I did want to show this one because it's very unique. It stays very much true to vanilla Minecraft, almost as much as possible, I would say. I'm not even sure if that is the point of this pack but look at that the stone texture just looks like a very realistic version but the same type of color and texture as the vanilla minecraft textures and of course it's hard to say that for the leaves because these leaves i mean normal minecraft leaves actually don't even look like leaves if you look at it that way i guess i mean these logs for example that's so clear they are just minecraft oak logs with a higher resolution texture they look exactly the same as vanilla Minecraft logs. Same color, 
same kind of vibe, I guess you could say. And then this, I mean the furnace, it's just literally the Minecraft vanilla furnace texture. So this pack is just pretty much an upgrade of vanilla Minecraft textures. And this entire pack is free. I mean, I guess you can get higher resolutions once over on Patreon. So I just switched over to Zeus HRR, which is the have render resolution render, something like that, because it did have a very easy to enable parallax occlusion mapping setting. And look at this pack now, it just completely changed. I was already like, something's off about this pack because I had a look at this before with the half rendering, half resolution. I mean, I'm just gonna call it HRR, but the point is, now that we've enabled parallax occlusion mapping, it looks totally different and it looks way better. You can actually see the lines and the self shadowing on these textures, um, especially crafting table. I mean, look at that. That leather just looks so realistic now. I mean, I suppose that's leather. And look at these tools on the sides here. I mean, it looks like you can just take them off and use them. That's really, really cool. And the same goes for the furnace right here. I mean, you can actually see that the texture is kind of hollow now. I actually meant to show you the fact that this pack had this capability of doing PBR and POM or parallax occlusion mapping, but then it didn't work with the normal SUS PTGI. And now with the SUS HRR, it does work. So definitely give this pack a try if you need a good pack that works with SUS and actually has really high quality texture. I mean, not all of them have been done yet, obviously, but let's just hope they will actually add these textures in the future and then we'll just have ourselves a wonderful HD pack right here. So this next texture pack, I keep actually, I wanna say shader pack, but we're taking a look at resource packs here, texture packs, please just texture packs. All right, there we go again. We're gonna be taking a look at this next texture pack, which is called Sortix Fanver, and that is short for fan version. This version has been around for very, very long now. It's still around, it's still being updated by the community mainly, I think. I mean, I'm glad they do because this is a wonderful HD texture pack that's gone through years of improvement, years of development, and has just become like a normal thing to have as an HD texture pack because this pack is just so good and it's so consistent. The styling of this pack is so consistent across all different blocks that you can think of. I mean, these shelves, look like the wood used on the crafting table. They have the same kind of color, pele, that's even a word. Yeah, right? You probably know what I mean. They use the same types of colors. Um, the chests use similar colors and the furnace has this same unique style, but it works really well with all the other textures. This one I believe is a 64 pixel texture like the one we saw before, battered old stuff. I mean, I suppose everything they could possibly improve on, every little tweak, has been applied and this end product, which is Sortex Fanver, I'm not saying it can't be improved and it can't be updated in the future, but this version is just gorgeous, works really well. I just, I can only recommend this pack. It's just, it's just a wonderful pack. It runs very well because it's not a crazy resolution texture pack. It's just 64 pixels. So you can use this for actual gameplay. You can actually play Minecraft Survival with this pack and even record it if you want to. It won't be much more demanding than normal Minecraft textures. So here we are. This is probably the star of the show because this is a beautiful pack. This is a 512 pixel pack called Luna HD. Now, don't get me wrong. This version of the pack of Luna HD, which is 512 pixels, is not free. You can actually get this one, you have to purchase it, or I think it's a Patreon thing, but I was actually given this very high quality version by the creator of Luna HD, so thank you for actually allowing me to show, um, well, you guys this version of the pack because, you know, you can actually see how insane Minecraft can get. And um, there's actually a free version of this pack as well, which is lower resolution, but of course there'll be a link to that version as well as this version down in the description. But like I said, this version is not free. This version is just, you know, I just wanted to show you this one to show you how crazy good textures can get in Minecraft. So this is Luna HD. It's got these crazy crisp quality textures. 
Wow, I mean, look at that. That is just insane. That is so cool. Like, I, I've shown you this just now, but I want to look at it again. Look at that foliage. Look at that grass and look at the leaves. It's almost like a picture. It's almost like just, just a photo, you know, of real life. It's so crazy. I also just want to show you these tables once again because they look fantastic. You can see the little reflection on the side there because this is a metallic material and that will reflect differently than, well, I suppose this is some kind of leather uh, material in the middle here which will just reflect the light but slightly less. And then look at these textures. I mean, wow, what do I even need to say about this? This is just crazy. This texture, this model, I should say, is completely hollow. And when you actually cook something or smelt something, this little thing closes right here and you can see the fire. And you know your furnace is lit and it's actually doing something. And now for as far as I know, it's currently not compatible with the palm capabilities of SUS PDGI. Hopefully it will be in the future because that would actually add a lot more uh, detail to this pack. I mean, it's already got like a an insane amount of detail. I mean, look at that gravel. Look at the reflection on the gravel there. That is just insane. I cannot wrap my head around the fact that this is possible in Minecraft. I mean, I've been doing shader videos and resource pack videos for almost four years now, and I still wonder sometimes if this is the limit because four years ago, I didn't think this would be possible. I mean, Seuss PDGI wasn't even a thing back then. And look at us now. We're looking at a 512 pixel texture pack with crazy ray traced reflections. I mean, okay, I'm using a downgraded version, which will not even reflect this grass right here, but you get the point. We've come quite far. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's Luna HD. Thank you once again to the creator of this pack for allowing me to show you the full resolution version of this pack, which is crazy good really it's really good if you're interested in this pack like i said a link will be down in the description to the page where you can try both the free and the i think it's a patreon exclusive version so go ahead and uh look up that link down below in the description if you're interested in trying this pack so here we are this is the last pack that i'm going to show you in this video this is monsterly hd or just monsterly but i think there was once a normal version which wasn't hd and that's why i I think this is the one that's referred to as Monsterly HD. Anyway, it's a wonderful 128 pixel pack with cool natural variation in the texture. You can see this, these little flowers right here, just leaves and stuff like that, moss maybe, I don't know what that is. But this package is wonderful. It's not too crazy, it actually just looks good. That's pretty much the point. So some of these textures actually remind me of Sortex Fanver a little bit like the chests and uh, these these bookshelves right here. But this crafting table is very unique. And once again, a totally different, once again, very unique version of the furnace. Once again, it's hollow, really cool 3D model right there with this charcoal down there, just glowing, heating up the furnace. Really, really impressive. And the cool thing about this pack is probably that it is the most complete pack out of the packs that I've shown you so far. It's very impressive that this pack, Monsterly, looks about 100% complete. I mean, even the blocks that were added in 1.16, like Crying Obsidian, for example, look at that. Even that texture has received its own HD texture in Monsterly. A link to this pack will be down in the description if you're interested in this pack and this goes for everything this goes for every pack that i've shown you so far a link will be down in the description i'm pretty sure every pack i've shown you in this video can be downloaded for free some higher resolution versions of some of the packs that i've shown you in this video may actually be something like patreon exclusive but there should be a free version of all of these packs out there that are at least somewhat hd and look similar to what i've shown you in this video so if you're interested in the packs, like I said, check out the links down below in the description. So that's it for this video. If you actually did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would sincerely appreciate that. Let me know down below which one of these packs is your favorite and which ones you've actually tried or already knew and which ones you are going to try. Of course, if you're into videos like this particular video, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. I would sincerely appreciate that. And then without any further ado, I will of course 
catch you in the next one. See ya.